camera. Today I have a hoverboard uh, with a complaint that one side is not working right, right? So I'm gonna try to see uh, what's to it. I got this one side, seems like it's working. And this side, we just getting nothing. Welcome back everybody to powerboardrepair.com. I'm getting ready to open up this hoverboard and show you guys how easy it is to actually change a gyroscope on the inside of this thing, okay? The only thing you're gonna need is a Phillips head screwdriver, okay? So I know you got one of these laying around your house. So you might just not have to send your power board into the, into the power board repair center, okay? You might be able to do this yourself and you can get the parts right from powerboardrepair.com. Uh, so make sure you get that, okay? Now I'm going to open this thing up real quick. I'm going to show you guys how easy it is. I'm not going to use my screwdriver because I just want this to go a little bit quicker. So I'm going to use what we have. It's one of the tools that we have at the power board repair center. And I'm going to just start to open this thing up, okay? All right, so once you get all the screws loose on the hoverboard, first thing you got to do is lift the cover off. And be careful when you're lifting this cover off this is a cousin, because there's a couple of wires that's attached to the LED light right there. And you don't want to break those wires, okay? Uh, so you see those three? It's three harnesses right there. Uh, let's see if I can get this real quick. I got one, two, three. Those need to be uh, disconnected, but before you even do that, you want to disconnect the power supply from the battery, from the hoverboard, because you don't want to, you know, damage anything. So that's the rule of thumb, disconnect uh, this cable first. And then from there, you're going to disconnect one, two, three harnesses. And then from there, one, two, three, and then four screws, okay? And from now, I'm just going to replace this, this board right here, which is the gyroscope. And then from there, we'll see if this thing can get back rolling, all right? So I got those three harnesses uh, disconnected. And you don't have to worry about where they go because they only fit uh, in one place. Okay, so the next thing to do is to unloosen these screws right here. So we can get that... Uh, that whole board out of there. And then we got a replacement board. Uh, right here. I'm just gonna sit that down in there. Alright, cool. Once you get all those screws loose out of that gyroscope, the board should just slide right out of there. Uh, real easy. Sometimes you might have to pop these things out, but you got to be careful not to. What a the old board doesn't really matter, but the new board you definitely don't want to break. And so I got that old board, and I got a a brand new board right there. So let's stick this old board up there. That's a new gyroscope there. Easy, and I'm just gonna put this thing in just like I took it out. So. Like I say, there's nothing to it but to do it. All right, so we, we replaced that gyroscope on the inside of this hoverboard. So first thing we're gonna do is gonna power this thing back on. Okay, and uh, all right, I got one side responding. And the other side, I uh, got a little vibration, all right? So uh, let me step on that one. That side's working. And that side's working, let's see. Okay, it's kind of tight. I'm gonna reset this thing, and then after that, it looks like it's ready to roll. So easy, I'm gonna just go through my recalibration steps real quick. I'm gonna just hold that power button in. About seven seconds. Let it blink. And then reset it. Right Looks as good as new to me, guys. Thanks a lot. This is PowerboardRepair.com, and I'm Stanley Walker. If you have any problems with your hoverboard, let me know. Contact us at contact at PowerboardRepair.com, and we'll be glad to fix it. Any one of your hoverboards.
Thanks again for PowerBoardPath.com. Peace.